Talent, this is the second semifinal tonight. 11 acts are fighting for a place in next week's finals. And if you want to show your favorite acts some love, follow them at NBCAGT. They'll be tweeting as they go throughout the show, and so will the judges. In fact, Howie never stops tweeting. Find out what he thinks about the acts as well as the other judges. Go ahead, get involved. Okay, taking the stage next are the youngest contestants left in the competition. They're kind of normal brother and sister, but when they're performing, they're sensational magicians. From Destin, Florida, here's Caden Bart Rocket. Sis, we gotta come up with an idea for the semifinals. Okay, what's your idea? We've been doing revenge. How about this time? We work together. Sounds good. To the base! There's a lot of magicians still in the competition. John Darren Boss and Stephen Brundage. Race to the top! They're really good. I'm gonna beat you! No, you're not! I feel like the saying, two minds are better than one, is true. So, this round, we're gonna try and work together. Ow. Creating magic is a complex process. It's gonna be right here. Right there. Right here. Right there. We're having to work on our teamwork skills. Why? Did you get it? No, I didn't. Rabbit? I thought you were supposed to get the rabbit. No, you were! But she is very annoying. I'll take it. Lunch is ready! Yes! We want to be the youngest kids ever to have a magic show in the Vegas Strip. The Caden and Brooklyn Show. I think it should be called the Brooklyn and Caden Show. Let's do it alphabetically. No. Okay. How about we do it? Who's the most big part of the act? Which is me, exactly! we've been on America's Got Talent. All of our friends have wanted to be on television too. Tonight, they're gonna get their chance. America, say hello to my fifth grade class, Miss Medillacuddy's class. <laughs> Mr. Simon, we need your help. We are going to ask you to choose someone in this bus. Oh, all except my teacher. Mr. Simon, uh, which row would you like? Row one or two? Uh, Mr. Simon would like row one, please. <laughs> row one? Okay, row one it is. Now, Miss Heidi, please pick a number one through six. Uh, three. Three? Okay. One, two, three. You chose Rebecca. Grab this, sis. Let's show them the trick that we taught Harry Potter how to do. Ready, set, go! Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Kaden. You know, that's really not fair. They're all going to be jealous because only Rebecca got to come. Don't worry, sis. I've got a plan. Come on, give me a hand.
Great job, guys. Howie, that talk to him. great. Can I just say that this whole idea, the concept of you is amazing. The reason people like magic is because even as an adult, it makes us feel like a kid again. Like, anything's possible. So you put magic that makes us feel like a kid, done by kids, and it is super. This is amazing. I loved it. I think America will love it, and hopefully they'll vote for it. Thank you. Mel. Listen, I've got to be honest, it wasn't the slickest of performances. What? But nevertheless, you made your whole entire class and your teacher appear. And what I liked about the fact that even though the house was kind of falling apart a bit, you pushed your hand up and you carried on. Yes. That's true professionalism, yes. right there. Hey. I think that the two of you are the coolest kids, and I'm sure that your teacher agrees with me that you deserve an A+. For this performance. Aww. Well done. Thank you. Simon, I don't know what Mel's talking about when she said it wasn't your slickest performance. You made ten people appear out of a house from nowhere. <laughs> that is quite slick, in my opinion. I also want to say something. You know what? You two are so funny, and you've turned into this great little double act. Yeah. You've got fantastic yeah. showmanship. I thought it was actually your best trick. Well, actually, it's not trick, it's magic. We've had it from you so far. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys. So, this time you worked together. You guys weren't attacking each other. Can we get used to that, or is it going to be back to sibling rivalry? I think we're going to get used to that. I mean, there are some more people that I'm going against, like you with my